I'd like to show you how to use a program called Cam Studio. You can see Cam Studio here. Uh, use Cam Studio to record a PowerPoint so that the PowerPoint becomes a movie. Uh, now, um, hopefully, I don't break the time space continuum because I'm actually using a second copy of Cam Studio right now to record this uh, bigger screen. Uh, and when we get started here, I'll use this second copy to record this uh, smaller window, uh, which will just be the PowerPoint, and then I'll show you what that movie looks like. Uh, Cam Studio is a free program. Uh, if you go to camstudio.org, you can download it. Now, I think it's PC only, but it's free, open source, and it's designed to record the screen uh, of your computer. Uh, if you have audio, like I'm talking into a microphone right now, you can include audio with it, and it makes a movie out of whatever's on your computer screen. Uh, so I, uh, this semester, made a video for our students for their teacher performance assessment video, and I, I put this online on YouTube, and I'm going to go back through the process of what I did to make that video. Uh, to start with, I, I have my uh, whole presentation here in PowerPoint, uh, and I need to adjust PowerPoint the way it does a, a slide presentation so that I can do what's called a windowed presentation. So if I go to the slideshow tab and click on uh, set up the slideshow, normally you present PowerPoint in the full screen. Well, I don't want to do that. I want it to show up in a window that's as big as uh, this little PowerPoint window here. So I'm going to do a browsed individual window. So I click OK. Uh, now, when I start my presentation, it's going to be just in this little box. And I can, I can go through this video, or go through this PowerPoint, just like I would a regular uh, PowerPoint, uh, except it's in this little window. Now, this first slide, uh, if you go to that URL, that's the YouTube video that I, that I ended up making uh, using this technique, if you want to go through and watch it. So I've added that slide to the beginning of my uh, presentation. So uh, once I have my PowerPoint ready to go, I want to make it the uh, approximate size of Cam Studio. Now in Cam Studio, I can tell the program uh, how much of the screen to record. Uh, a lot of people think, oh, I'm just going to do the full screen. Now the problem with doing it full screen is then you see your taskbar at the bottom, all the desktop uh, icons. Uh, there may be some clutter that you don't want in your video. So I typically do a, a region or a fixed region. A region lets you on the fly just draw a box with uh, the mouse and it records that window that you've uh, created. A fixed region lets you specify uh, a width and a height. So I'm making this 800 by 600. I'd recommend, since you're probably doing PowerPoint, uh, that you do 1024 by 768. Now, my uh, second copy of Camtasia here is copying uh, 1366 by 768. So I didn't want to do 1024 by 768 because I thought it might go off my might go off the edges a little bit. So I'm just uh, I've I've made it a little bit smaller, 800 by 600. Uh, and then you can specify the exact pixel where the top left corner uh, is. Uh, so I'm 780 pixels from the left, 140 pixels down. I have a big screen. I have a, a 1080p uh, monitor, so I have a lot of uh, buffer around the edges. Now, uh, when I have that space set to begin recording, I click on the record button. Now, the handy thing is, is it draws these little uh, pointers that show me exactly what part of the screen is being recorded. Now, to get my PowerPoint to advance, I, I have to click over here on my PowerPoint so that I can use my mouse to advance the slides. So now, uh, I could start this right here and begin narrating my PowerPoint. I could go through each one of the slides. If I wanted to show the equipment, go through the pictures, so on and so on and I'm making a movie from my PowerPoint. So let's stop 
as soon as we stop, it gives me some dialog to save this as an AVI, which is a, a fairly generic uh, file type. Uh, you could edit it with iMovie or with Movie Maker, no problem. So I'll call this my uh, TPA uh, Cam Studio. And usually as soon as, as, soon as it uh, makes the movie, it shows the movie to you. So now you can see my little uh, present. Remember, I moved around to show you the edges. But what you're looking at right here, let me uh, reduce my uh, other things here so you can see. Uh, that's my movie of my PowerPoint. So here in a second, you'll see me there. I advance the slide. I go to the next slide and so on and so on. Now my microphone only lets me talk into one of my cam studios and I'm I'm talking into this one right now so there's no uh, sound that goes with this one so I think after this slide I escaped out of it uh, uh, and there it stopped. So uh, that's all there is to, to uh, uh, making a movie. This this is just a, a regular AVI movie. I could put that into my uh, video editing software if I wanted to chop a little off the beginning or a little off the end, like say you forgot to, uh, say you had you you didn't have PowerPoint full screen or in presentation mode or something that wasn't perfect, and you just wanted to chop some off the front or some off the end, or if in the middle you flub it up, you could go in and just chop it, take out the part you flubbed up and squeeze it together, and and uh, you don't have to redo the whole thing. Uh, I think this is the easiest way to get a high quality PowerPoint with audio online uh, because it does all of your transitions and everything seamlessly it looks exactly like it would look uh, if you were presenting uh, at a conference in fact lots of times I'll record my audio and when I get back home I'll just do uh, a screencast of my slides and then put it into my video editor put my recorded audio from the conference uh, in and get what looks like a, a live version. It's really live audio with my slides uh, recorded in this exact method.